Hi everybody, welcome into the channel. This is Nikki. I'm going to dive right into this video because I want you to know as God's chosen, things will come to you. You don't have to chase. This is how you are going to receive some things that have been difficult for you to obtain. You know why it has been probably difficult for you to obtain some of these things that you've been praying for, believing God for, whatever it has been. Don't chase. Do not chase. You do not have to chase. It is going to come. Just place yourself in a position to receive. You are seated in power. You are seated in majesty. You are seated. That's right, seated in power. As God's chosen, you donate so much power with the spirit that's on the inside of you. You don't have to chase. The Bible said the blessings of the Lord will run you down and overtake you. Now, if you get out of position, that blessing that is in pursuit of you, you're going to miss it. You don't have to chase. This is how you receive. The moment that you pray about it, you thank God for it, and you go on about your business, just go on about your day, go on about your life. And just give God gratitude, give God thanks, and give God praise, knowing that not only has he heard your prayer, that God has answered your prayer, but the moment that you hold too tight, the moment that you try to force things to happen, the more that you try to make something happen, the more resistance that you're going to get. Because this is the pot, the, the energy that you're putting out. This is that negative emotion that you are putting out in the world so change that release positive emotions release these positive family emotions that you do have access to pray about it set that prayer set that intention that you are asking God to do for you and let it go the moment that you pray about something, you believe God for it and you forget about it, it'll happen quicker for you. We know we have to obey God. We know we have to keep our heart space in a good place. But don't chase. You don't have to chase. Have you ever wondered when you try to pursue certain things, you try to pursue certain people with everything that you have, and at some point it doesn't work the way that you want it to work? That's because you're trying to force it. You don't have to force anything to happen. Just have faith, believe, get yourself in a position where you receive it. And at some point in God's divine timing, that thing is going to come. Set it and forget it. Why don't you affirm that today? That I'm going to set it. I'm going to forget about it. Set it and forget about it, family of God. We know it's easy said than done, but it's going to take a lot of practice. It's going to take a lot of diligence, diligence for you to retransform your mind so you can receive the things that God has for you. God said, ask, seek, and knock. He said, ask, seek, and knock. Ask, and it, is, and it shall be given. Seek. God said, seek me, and you'll find me. He said, keep knocking. If you had a door and that door is not opening, God is telling you to keep knocking. He said, keep asking, keep seeking, keep knocking. If you're not supposed to get in a door, you're not going to get in a door, but God will do what? God will open up another door for you. Don't chase. You don't have to chase. You don't have to force anything to happen. You don't have to try to make anything happen for you. You don't. The more you try to force it, the more you're going to go without it. And this is going to leave you so frustrated. And the enemy knows this. See, the enemy does not want you to know how powerful that you are. You are so powerful. You are a powerhouse. God's remnant, God's chosen, you are a powerhouse. You have to know the power that you have access to. This is why you have to stay plugged into God. If you disconnect from the source, you have no power. The lights go out. But if you stay connected to that source, your power will never ever go out don't chase anything don't chase anyone no family 
you believe and you shall receive. Whatever you're asking, believe that you're going to receive it and you have it. You can't pray and ask God for something that you really are doubting because you're not going to get it because the word of God tells us that a double-minded man shouldn't think that he's going to get anything from God. We can't be like the sea. We can't be like that wave being tossed to and fro. That's what it means to be double-minded. So whenever problems come, you can't not have faith. As long as you don't have a problem, as long as you don't have an issue, then you believe God, then you trust God. No, your faith is born. Your faith increases when you go through testing, when you go through trials, when you go through tribulations, your your faith is being tested. Don't chase. Don't chase. Because when you begin to chase after something, whenever you begin to chase after someone, that shows that you really don't think you can get it. You don't have to chase anything. Set it and forget it. Just believe. Ask God what you are believing him for. As long as it lines up with whatever he says we have a right to in the word of God at his timing, family. Because everything is in God's perfect timing. It'll happen for you. You don't have to chase anything to make anything happen for you. You don't. This is why a lot of times you don't get what you know you have a right to have. There are a lot of things that are in fact during this, but we're talking about chasing on this video. In this particular video, we're talking about don't chase. Don't chase anything and don't chase anyone. Don't. Pray, believe, and stay in a position where you're going to receive whatever you're going to ask God for. You have a right to believe. Don't let the enemy get into your mind to cause you to doubt, family, because this is going to hinder your prayer. The enemy knows this. This is why he floods you with so many distractions, because he know if you can get you distracted, you won't pray. That'll break up your prayer life. The more issues that you face in life, let that increase your faith. Our faith should not decrease just because we're going through testing, just because we're going through trials. No. I'll start by to let you know, those of you who are tuning into this video, it's God's will. If this video is coming across your feed, this is God's will to let you know, don't chase. Don't chase. The moment that you put in your spirit that I'm not going to chase, I'm just going to believe, and I'm going to go on with my life, things are going to happen faster for you. Things are going to happen quicker for you. You've noticed that in your own life. Forget about it and go on with your life, family of God. Sometimes we're going to be our greatest stumbling block. Our doubt, our unbelief, our fear will hinder the things that God has for us. You have no reason to doubt. You don't. You have no reason not to believe. Just because things don't happen in the timing that you think it should, don't doubt God. Don't give up on God. Thank you for tuning in to the, to the video on today, family. Don't forget to like our video, share, and subscribe. Keep hitting the like button because it helps our channel grow and it gives us an opportunity to reach a broader audience. I want to thank all of you once more for supporting the book. Thank you so much. Thank you for your acts of kindness, your prayers, just being a part of our life here. God bless you. We'll talk later. Don't chase. Do not chase. Do not chase anything and don't chase anybody, family of God. You don't have to try to make anything happen. You don't. Don't try to force it. Just let it go. God bless you. Bye-bye.